Hey guys, Josh here and you're watching Chimp Skills. And today I want to talk about meditation. Um, so I'm not going to talk to you like some new age hippie, pretend um, Zen monk guy. I'm just a guy who's taken 10 minutes out of my day for the last eight days um, to yeah have some peace and quiet away from technology and just yeah have time doing nothing essentially or going through this guided meditation. So. I myself have done a little bit of meditation, but generally have no idea what I'm doing and get really bored. Um, so I've been using the Headspace app, which is a guided meditation. And it takes you through each day. There's this pommy guy who talks, he tells you what to do. Um, sometimes there's little animations that describe what you're trying to get out of the session. So they're little metaphors. Um, one of them is imagine your thoughts are like cars driving on a road in front of you. You don't want to get in their way. You don't want to really um, yeah, affect them by anything. You just want to sit on the side of the road and watch them go by. So cool things like that that just break things down and make it quite simple. So I started off and I'm listening to this pommy guy and I'm like, what does this guy even know about meditation? Like, who is he? He could be anyone. Um, so just by chance the other day, I was listening to a podcast and he happened to be a guest. Um, turns out this guy in his early 20s actually went off to Tibet and became an, became an ordained Tibetan monk. He actually practiced for 10 years. So I guess he knows what he's talking about. So for myself, you know, I think, well, why meditate? What's the point? Um, so personally, I've definitely found I'm a bit more happier. Um, for sure, karma. Feels like, you know, your body's just been wound back a couple of gears and everything sort of slowed down a bit. Um, and just taking that time in the morning away from everything else, where it's just, there's nothing, um, is quite, yeah, it's quite peaceful. And I've also found that your ability to remain calm in sort of stressful situations, my tolerance for that has definitely gone up. Um, and I tend to just enjoy some of the general monotonous processes of day-to-day -day things now more than I used to. So yeah, I, I've definitely found it, it's worth the 10 minutes. The return on investment is definitely there. Um, if you're a scientist like myself and you're a bit of a skeptic, there is some studies out there that look at uh, fMRI before, during, and after meditation. Um, and the subjects, what they found is that during and after meditation, the areas of the brain that um, relate to well-being and feeling happy, there's an increase of blood flow to that area of the cortex. Um, so there is some studies to show that there, there is a, there's an actual physical, a physiological reaction that's taking place. Um, so the, yeah, there is some science behind it as well. So I guess for yourself, look, if you want to add it into your morning routine, um, I took my own advice and started my own morning routine. Started off with making my bed and now I'm on to um, meditating as well. So I'm eight days in for the, the 10 days. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, if you want to give it a shot, um, it's on iTunes, it's on Android. It's free, um, it's super simple. And if you want a way of reminding yourself or, or remaining disciplined, which is probably one of the biggest challenges I've had is actually to, to make sure I dedicate that 10 minutes in the morning. Um, there's a theory called coupling. So if you've got something that you are doing each day, so say for instance, brushing your teeth or having breakfast, then couple the meditation onto that. And that will then trigger your brain to remember it and then hopefully form it as more part of a, a behavior that you'll adopt to do in the morning. So look guys, give it a go. What have you got to lose? You know, um, let me know how it goes if you want or don't. But yeah, Headspace is the app, give it a try. See how you go. Till next time guys. Peace.